Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com over here at the show floor of the IDF 2011 in San Francisco. And we're taking a look at the Samsung Series 7 Slate. That looks to me like, you know what, help me Nicole, is this 12.1 inch or is this 11.6? 11, 11.6 11. 11. and I would guess 1366 by 768. Yeah. Seems like the resolution is like this. Uh, it's running Windows 7 right now. And um, what you can see over here is, um, it also comes with a stylus. Now let's take, let's start a new, oops, sorry about that. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> and let's start a new, <laughs> holy crap, could you please leave me alone? As you can see, this is a capacitive <laughs> multi-touch screen, and now look at the stylus over here. So that's, a, that's an active digitizer, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it sure is. So, and um, if you wonder about the touch points of this device, for the very first time uh, that I see an x86 tablet running Windows uh, 7 that has actually eight touch points. Look at this. Amazing. There you go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Definitely works. It's, it's very responsive. It's a brilliant screen. Uh, let's just get this off the docking station here. And it's pretty light. I would, I would guess below a thousand grams. Um, let's take a quick look around the system. We have our USB 2.0 connector over here. There's a jack for your headset, volume control, <laughs> um, HDMI out, a jack for, I don't know, actually connected for your PSU. This is of course a docking port. And we have, let's just press this button. What's gonna happen? I don't know. Volume marker maybe? No, no, it's not. No? Um, over here we have the power switch. There might be a slot for a SIM card underneath here. Uh, we have a micro SD card slot here, and we have uh, stereo microphones, actually. Um, build quality is very decent. Actually, this is a tablet that all the developers are, uh, that are attending the build conference from Microsoft in Anaheim in these days are getting for free. And, and Cheryl from NetworkNews.com just told us that they're even getting a uh, one-year free 3G contract. So that's pretty decent. But what I also would love to show you, what I saw for the very first time, now look at this little icon over here, and this brings <laughs> up a little new front end where you can access your favorite applications and programs immediately. And it also has uh, some additional information about weather and stuff over here. So, uh, well, it's not Windows 8, of course not, but it just gives you a first idea of how you can use a Windows tablet in the future when you're using huge icons and you can easily access all your favorite programs. Um, let's play around with it a little bit. I don't even know what this is. Okay, there's even an Amazon Kindle app. <laughs> yeah. Ah, over here you can you can add new groups and a uh, new app from your desktop or even change your wallpaper. Well, okay, changing the wallpaper is kind of lame, but whatever. You now people need this stuff. So yeah, quite interesting. Let's switch on the camera, by the way. Oh, let's see if there's any interesting music application or what it's going to do. Maybe it just comes up with the Windows Media Player. Oh no, here we go. So they have some unique applications. Takes a while, here we are. So let's talk a little bit about the hardware um, before I'm opening the next application, which is the photos. It's based on an Intel Core i5-2467, and that's a 1.6 gigahertz processor. It comes with four gigabytes of RAM, and it has a 120 gigabyte SSD. So as you can see, it comes with a couple of unique apps. Okay. I'll screw that social dashboard right now. Check out the camera. Okay. So I'm taking a picture of Nicole right now. How do I look? Oh, I look happy. Excellent. <laughs> like I took a picture with my pocket calculator. And it looks like blurry. <laughs> I'm, oh. it's, it's, it, it's, it's still a very, very cool tablet. I think by far the most sophisticated uh, Windows 7 x86 tablet that I've seen so far. Mm. And yeah, 
Can't wait to see how this one is running with Windows 8 in the future. That's the new Samsung Series 7 Slate. I'm Sasha for Network News.com. Over here at IDF 2011 San Francisco. Thanks for watching.